Welcome back, all of you. Nona here, and then we are in the third session of the day, actually. So let me go on and share my screen. So let first of all save the record actually. It may be uh, recorded two times, I think, because of uh, yeah, it has got cut actually. Uh, go there. <laughs> we should. Uh, we should make the product in the hub. Classroom records. Check out, okay, you can see how many records are going to be. It looks like there's only one record. No? 90 GB, 190 MB, 3031. There's only one record. So this is 32. We name. 32. I know it's a click on it. Because uh, we may have to perform again everything on my <laughs> counting one. So this will be the one day. Anyway. Cyclic counting one. So we'll not see whether the, uh, this thing is there or not. Is this not fine? Dev 13 is the one entering. Oh God, it's gone. I don't know when it's going to come back. <laughs> it's really very hard luck, like, actually. Fine. So much of activity has been done now. Right? Now I will do again everything now. Uh, this time I will not explain anything. I will not keep on doing it, actually. Okay. And then, uh, uh, so in another instance, I will not do it. Uh, it may cross even 9.30 because I want to complete it. Fine. If it is not completing by 9.30, I will not go ahead also. Can somebody say yes to me? Fine. If it is not getting complete by 9.30, what happens? It will not go ahead also. Okay? Okay, sir. So because in one go, we have to do it actually. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. So 31, I will not upload it. Now. File upload. Mm -hmm. So 33 is also going to be cyclic counting only because we have lost the instance actually. So because of which we are not doing it. 33 also will be cyclic counting. So let me go there and then I will now work on another instance actually. <laughs> Nana sir, you have a lot of patience <laughs> to redo it again. <laughs> <laughs> so no other so fine. <laughs> Such a thing happens now it's very, very difficult actually. Okay, let us now begin from the location onwards. Nothing like that. So let us now begin in the location onwards. <clears throat> so click on it. Sir, can't we use as a location that uh, is already existing in the system so that it is yes, easy for neighbors? Location. Wait, na. That location is another instance now. <laughs> How I can use here now? No, no, no. Here in the instance, whichever ah, instance. Ah, seated locations. Mm, see, because I need a separate org now. For cyclic counting, I need a separate org. I can't do it now. Can't we do it for uh, seated location? Hmm? Zero, zero, one. No, I mean, can't zero, zero, one, uh, if I go there, I cannot do it. I cannot demonstrate it because I need specific items only now. Fine. Since I need zero, zero, 001 has got plenty of items. How to do it now? Impossible. I cannot use the existing one at all. Demonstrate. So to teach what happens, I need a separate or four items are required for me. Okay. <laughs> only those things are required. <laughs> Not possible at all. <laughs> we have to only, you cannot use anything on the existing itself. You cannot use any of this. That's the biggest problem. No problem, man. Uh, it may take even more than one hour, but uh, we have to do it. No, fine. So, click on search. What are the managed locations? Uh, if uh, the, 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 that, uh, that instance, if it comes, please uh, tell me so that I will not jump into that immediately now. <laughs> managed locations. Somebody keep watching it now, fine. Brother. So, this is the one, no, fine. I'll not paste it. It is a UDT Dev 13. If Dev 13 comes in, please immediately tell me. I will not jump into that now. <laughs> no other. So click on create. 
So we need one location. Will not, I will not do it fast. I will not explain anything because everything has been explained in the previous video itself. I will not keep on doing it. That is the reason that what happens is conducting training, I'm really finding it very, very difficult to do it now. Because instances go away. While doing, if it goes away, you see how difficult it is now. Pick up it. So I will not say that T0169 address one. So go there. Click on submit straight away. One the location is required. I will not go in that way. I click on S now. So the location is located. Nana, is it? Mm -hmm. Expensive to buy just one instance. It is expensive means what? It will be in lakhs. If you go to Oracle, they will not charge you in lakhs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, if you pay thirty-five thousand cloud now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, if you pay thirty-five thousand rupees, they will not give you an instance now. They will not make you as a partner. For which what I'm saying, you have to have a GST registration. I tried it. They told that if you have a GST registration, will not make you as a partner. Oh God, so much of a problem with Oracle actually. GST registration means what? Everything which is coming into my account and all whatever I had to pay GST. 18% GST I had to pay for all the payments which I receive. Now I'm now no, saying so taking it as a tuition fees and <laughs> some other managing. Bobbery. So very difficult with the, managing with Oracle is really very difficult. They give you, but uh, for partners like what happens, uh, uh, Deloitte. And then TCS and all, they are given a very good working instances actually. Likewise, even for partners, they will give. If you are a, if you are become a partner, they will give it. So now the location is now created. We'll now go on and create our inventory order. Thank you, consultant and We'll now create our inventory order. Now do fast pass point to consultation. Go to the manage inventory order. If I'm making any mistake, please point out to me so that what happens, uh, I won't <laughs> what happens, I miss anything now, fine. Because when doing fast, I may even tend to do, do mistakes. I click on it. <laughs> I will not click on create now. Fine. I will not click the sixth organization. Mm -hmm. So organization is what? T016. Fine. Child 6. six it is a capital T016. Go there. In the US one business unit. US one. <clears throat> So management business unit. So here it is going to be what? It is a T016. The T016. Oh God, so many things are there. In sixth one is ours now. <laughs> legal ready, drop it down. I will not use years on legal ready and copies not to be coming automatically. You click on next now. <clears throat> so my master org is going to be operations. In the master is the operations. Operations for that, make it as a definition or schedule is what? Oh, God, this is another thing I have to create now. <laughs> right click and then duplicate. We will not see whether I have a schedule on T01 because T01 schedule will be having all the seven as working days, actually. Yeah, we have it. So T01 facility schedule will be having all the seven as working days, which is okay. And look at it. So click on seven close by which what happens? I will now create my child or so click on T01 underscore child. <clears throat> Seven close, it is not done. So the org is now created. I'm going to take it. We will now create one sub unit again. Okay, on so manage sub unit is located. So manage percentage. Okay. Sub percentage. Okay. Look up percentage. Entry now. We have the located. Okay. Now only one sub unit. So this doesn't need any data access for this. No okay. fine. So you don't need data access for creating sub inventory. Only for transactions, we need data access. Okay. So click on plus. No fine. I will now make one sub, sub one. No. <clears throat> Someone take of it and then for the description. That's it. Location is what T01 and then the sixth location I'm going to be. Uh, how come I have not associated this with coming? I have to tie it up and very important. I have to perform a tie actually. Tie is not done. I'll go to the manager location. I'm going to search now. I'm going to say it's a T01. Sixth location I have to tie. It. I have to perform a tie actually. So, sixth location. Go there. So click on edit and then click on update now. <clears throat> click on OK and now perform a time. Go 
go there and then here i will not put the organization what t016 or t016 chain so click on submit complaint okay so the location organization tie is now performed now so the submit notice are created fine everything is now completed we'll now go to the security console and then add the two one no. okay. one is the product data statement as well as uh, your inventory manager now <clears throat> So the tool, those two roles as well. So click on OK now, find down. We'll now go there. Go to the security console and then add these two. Now. Click on the home. You go to the security console. Tools, security console is the one. Tools. And then I go to the security console. Yes, CM11 is a one now. Find for which you can do it now. Working on CM11. So users, I will say the CM eleven. So click on it, the CM eleven, and then here I will now go to edit and then add this one. Add one. One is product data steward. <clears throat> product data steward. So product data steward of Aura is required. So it's already there. The only copy is coming. That means it's already there now. I will now add what? Inventory manager. So if it is already added, it will not be there at all. Inventory manager. The inventory manager also will be there, I think. Inventory manager over if you do it now. So it's only copy is there. Both the things are already there, actually. And no need to add anything at all. Fine, you have cancel. So both the roles are there. I click on them. It will not give a dead access only for our org. Click on it. So go to the place and click on it. So go to the setup and maintenance. So product data steward as well as the inventory or roles are already there because we are working on our custom org now, not the innovations or I click on it. I will go to the search now. I click on search. I'll go to the manage data access for users. So go to the manage data access for users. Go there, click on it. I will now add the data access for the sixth org actually. I click on plus one. So it's ACM 11. So I will not choose it now. Thank you on it. I will not choose the inventory or it is the inventory inventory manager role. So go there, put the inventory organization thing over there. It is a T016. Uh, we are given it now. Click on it. So the data access for the org is now given. Now what happens if we have to give the function security and data security for our child org actually? I will not go there. I will not go to the manage thing, data uh, manage find item class. So go to the manage item class, manage. So manage item class is the one. Get on it. You know, go to the manage item class. I will now choose automatic you now. Automatic. Click on edit. Automatic. In the inventory management, everything was user defined, user defined with no <coughs> approval. Now, data management, go there. So, it's user defined, user defined with no approvals. I go to the security and then let me add the security. So, click on plus. I will now add the product data streamer actually. Click on product data streamer. Sometimes it will give you a list of values there. You choose ORA now. It is giving. It will go T016. You give it that. And then give a save at this stage. So function security is now given. Now thank you for saying. You have given the first one function security. So go there, select it. And then the bottom we will now give the data security. So go to actions. And then go to select that. You're going to give the data security. So click on search. And then click on this bar, And then click on apply. And then click on OK. Okay, fine. Give us save and close by which what happens? It is now completed. <laughs> so all these things are completed. Fine. Go there. Come on. We'll know what happens. Go there. Uh, and then have a habit of running one. Uh, you know, giving any uh, one uh, message, you know, warning message. So for which what happens? You go there. Run the import user role. <laughs> Whenever you are giving a warning message in the security console, run this now. <laughs> import user role.
So go on the one the import user role once again, right? So that it gets synced into the transaction system sector. Okay, click on submit. You know that. Now, you now go ahead and then create our item actually. So click on the home icon and then go to the product management. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. And then here I'm now going to create the item actually. Four items I'm going to create. Go there. So click on create item. Click on create item. So we are going to get four items actually. So it's what zero zero zero. Go to space. So anything is okay. I mean, I know those on automatic. You know, I don't know those automatic. And then bring it out and then bring in the purchase and complete. Click on OK. Accept the warning. <laughs> so it has to go to approve now. So now life cycle phase is missing here. When I will now populate something. So these two are there and go down. And then here. Uh, primary units are measures and then the remaining are there. Packing is okay. Packing is not required. Primary units, primary, primary and both required is okay. Everything is there. So we'll now go there and then create our item actually. I'll right. now say T0101. I will now say no control. No control item. Fine. This is basically a no control item. <clears throat> So no control item. I go, I go to the specifications and then nothing is there. Fine. So if you go to the specifications, fine. Uh, we have to enable the cyclic counting enable. Okay? Cyclic counting must be enabled actually. The inventory. We enable the cyclic counting actually. We'll go down. So cyclic counting enabled is what? No. I want to make it as yes. No. Cyclic counting is yes. No. Fine. We'll associate to the child or no. So go to the associations. You go to the associations and then directly associate to the child or no. Actions and then go to select an act, then also see the child out. It's called T0160. Enter it. Select it and then click on apply. So T0101, no control is now getting assigned now. Fine. So give a save and close. Fine. So item is having everything. No control. Fine. Save and close. The T0102 is going to be a lot controlled item. So the item is now created. The first item is now created. I'll go there, click on it. Okay, right. And the zero 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 R. So this is automatic. This template will not throw it out. Choose the purchase item template. Click on OK. Click on this. Item is what? P0102. I will now say lot controlled. Lot controlled. So this is a lot controlled item. Lot controlled item. <clears throat> you go to the specifications. I will now go to the specifications. The Z0102 is a lot control item. I will now go to the inventory and then I will now make the lot control as a full control now. Full control and then give some value lot underscore or not. Remember, lot numbers are unique across org. Remember, that's very, very important. Remember it. Go down. And then here, I will know what happens. The second item, I will now make cycle count also. Yes. Cycle count enabled is yes, actually. Go there. I will now assign it. Yeah, okay, ma. Sign. Pakala. Ah, Pakala. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Life cycle. Huh? Life cycle. Ah, life cycle is not there. Oh, God. Sometimes it will not throw an error. If you don't put the life cycle and then put the item, sometimes it will be throwing an error. We'll not see whether it shows an error or not. <laughs>
fifty zero one six nine. If it doesn't throw another, it will be great actually. Otherwise, what happens? Those two things are first of all to be filled actually. So go there. So you know, try to save, and then if it saves, it's great actually. Save and close. Yeah, it got saved actually. The third item I'm going to get. Thank you, the item. So we are going to get the third item actually. So zero zero zero. Drop it down. I'm going to automatic. Bring it over here and then bring the purchase item template over here. Wait a moment. So click on OK. Click on yes. And then this life cycle things and put it in. So it is a T. 0103 with a serial controlled. The serial controlled. Okay. The serial controlled. So specifications, I go there. The T0103 is an important one. There is a spelling mistake, it doesn't matter to me. I go to the inventory. <clears throat> so I will not make it as a dynamic actually. Serial control is going to be dynamic. Dynamic entry, and then go down in this place. That was no big cycle. One enable is yes. Go to the associations, and then it does not associate the third item. Go to R, no. actions, and then go to select and add. Let me add to the R. It's called T016. Thank you. So click on done. So it's not done. So the third item is also created. So click on save and close. So look at the final item, the fourth item, which is not going to be cycle count enabled actually. So click on create. Item. So it's the organization bot zero zero zero. Yeah, it is automatic. Throw it out. Then go there. The purchase return template is not dotting over there. So here, yeah, I will now make the life cycle as what correction. And then go there. Item is what? T0104. And I will now say pump. So the pump is a very costly item. And then it won't be, you. nobody will know about to steal it actually. And they do not want to count it. Right? The management do not want to count it. On a daily basis or a weekly basis or whatever it is, no point. This is under the safe control of the inventory in charge. And so they will not, they don't need a count actually. So that is why what happens, the cycle count will be disabled for certain items. Actually. And then I go to the inventory now. So in the inventory, what happens, we already made it to what? No control item only, cycle counting enabled is no actually. What? I will not go to the associations. This is complete nothing. Go to the associations. Uh, and then go to actions and then go to select map. I have not associated with child on the P016. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. It's all done. Okay. So it is now associated and now go there. So click on save and close by which all the four items are created. Now let us have a stock as per the plan actually. I go there. So click on the home and then I will now go to the supply chain execution. Let us now go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. And you go to the inventory management and then keep a stock as per the plan, actually. <clears throat> T016 is already coming on the left hand side. Now can click on the create miscellaneous transaction. So drop it down. <clears throat> we'll now choose the miscellaneous reserve. Now. Account, you go there. You drop it down. Make a search. The offset account, we are going to put it over there. So click on search. Click on OK. Cost is yes. No. <clears throat> Wrong person. So T0101. So T0101. Can give it up. That is the first item. So sub inventory, there is only one sub inventory. We are going to have 51 quantities of this. And with no control, you know, and 51 quantities. So click on plus. Next is what? Lot 10 and then lot 20 actually. So click on plus. I'm going to say T0102. I give it up. 
and then go there, click on edit please. So lot 10 and lot 20. So as per the plan, lot 10 will have two quantities and then lot 20 is going to have three quantities. Go there, click on it. The sub inventory is not chosen. Sub inventory, I'm choosing it. And then lot 10. And go there, click on it. I'm going to say the T01 underscore lot 10. So go there. There's two quantities. So T01 lot 10 is a two quantities. Click on lot 10. And the next is what? Again, click on plus no fine. I don't know. T0102 is the one. You must provide a value for the quantity. Okay. I forgot to give the quantity value. Don't click on two. Because, okay. I click on plus. <clears throat> and then T0102, lot 20 is going to have what? T0102. And then give it a tap. And then this is a sub inventory. And sub inventory is only one. Click on, click on the edit details. And then lot 20 will be having three quantities. So it is a T01 underscore lot underscore 20. So this is going to have three quantities. Okay. I don't have three quantities. So click on OK. Ah, the node. And then click on plus one. I'm going to go for the fourth item, which third item. It's called T0103. I'm going to give it a tab. The third item is coming up now. Okay. The sub inventory is there. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to go to the sub inventory. I'm going to click on the edit details. Edit details, what happens? First, we have to give the quantity, and then afterwards, the serial number. Okay. Lot is ulta. Here, I will put three quantities over here. I'm going to click on it. So in this place, what happens, I will now go there, click on the lot serial numbers, and then I will now give a range of numbers, enter the serial number range, 101 to 103, I'm going to put 101, 101 to 103 is the one. The serial number uniqueness check failed actually. How come? Serial numbers are unique within the item actually. The prefix you added lot underscore. There is no prefix at all in serial numbers. I will now say 1001 somewhere. Somebody might have modified the uniqueness actually. The uniqueness might have been made at the org level or somewhere else. So, 1003, I'm no 1001 to 1003. Okay, anyhow, doesn't matter. Somewhere some mistake is happening. So, now we are given 1001 to 1003, three serial quantities. No, okay, serial quantities, serial control. So, click on OK. The pump is not having any serial number. I will now keep a quantity of 100. No, okay, click on plus. So, go there. The T0104 pump. <coughs> I will now keep a quantity of 100. So, I will keep a quantity of 100. <clears throat> so, by which, what happens, all the transactions are going to be getting completed. Fine, click on submit, by which we complete all the four miscellaneous receipts actually. Now, go on and check the stock also. Now, we'll like look at the chop manual. <laughs> click on it, we'll now go to the manage item quantities. And then check it, expand them and check. So, click on search. So a pump is having 100, fine. Serial control, fine, expand it. Right. Expand it. Expand the sub inventory. And then look at it at the bottom, actually. In the bottom, it will not come. Fine, here, whatever is not coming, fine, click on it. And now, if you make a blank search, you click on it, no show. No show. All. And then if you expand the no control, fine, no control is only 51. Whereas the lot control, if you expand it, you'll not see both the lots. Right. Expand it. And then expand the sub inventory and then look at the both the lots. My lot 10 is having two, lot 20 is having three. Fine, good. Everything is okay. Now we can go ahead and then perform our ABC analysis now. Fine, straight away. <clears throat> Click on it. And now perform the ABC analysis. So what is the setup and maintenance? And then let us now perform the ABC analysis first. Click on it. So click on search now. Fine, this is the ABC. So the first four are business objects. So the last three are basically uh, your task, actually. I will now click on the manage ABC classification sets. Now, fine, click on it. Let us now create a classification set first. So you ensure that your org is proper now. Fine, click on plus no. I will now create what it is, a classification set. I will now say T016, fine, class set, classification set. I will now take a copy of it <clears throat> and then put in the description. And then organization criteria is what current on and quantity. That is the one. Then click on submit by which what happens, it will be running a concurrent actually. This concurrent is now going to create the classification set actually. I will now go there, right click and then duplicate. And then have a look at what happens, the concurrent which is running now. Fine. The ESS job will be running on this now. <coughs> so go there, go to the tools. <coughs> tools. And then go to the scheduled process. So you can now see that this is SCM 11 okay, succeeded actually. 
It will not go back here. And then it will not make a search. No, if I click on search, it will not see the status will be complete actually. And then if you go and then view it, if I click on view it, by default, it will be quantity based. So the pump is now having the top and sequence number is one is given. So no control is now having it though. And then three is what? Lot control. And then finally, sale control. 151, 5, and 3 is okay. Now, let us now go there and then create our what? Your ABC classes actually. If I click on that, I will now go there. I will now click on the manage ABC classes. <clears throat> so click on plus. I will now say class A. <clears throat> so go there. So I will now put the same value over here in the description also. <clears throat> Take over it. Put in the description. Now. So click on plus. Is that class B? So take a copy of it. And then put in the description. So click on plus. Class C. So take a copy of it. And then put in the description. So we are now completed creating the classes actually. Let us now do the assignment. Fine, okay? manage ABC assignments. Okay? So first we will now create an assignment. Later on we will now perform ABC assignments. Okay? So okay. first we will now create an assignment. Click on plus now. And now go to the placement. So T016 fine. As, as group now. The assignment group actually. Drop it down. We have already a classification set ready. This is all. Choose it now. So click on plus now. <clears throat> Sequence number is one. Yep, yeah, it's a class A. Class A. This class A. Click on plus. We have got only uh, four items now. Fine. I have not say third item. This class B. Click on plus. I will not put the fourth sequence over there. One and two will not belong to A now. Class C. So click on save and close by which what happens? Assignment group is now created only. Fine, click on save and close. It is only created. So make a search again now. Fine, click on it. I will now make a search. I click on search. So once when the search is made, what happens? You go there and then perform ABZ assignments. Now, fine, click on perform ABZ assignments. They won't do it now. So class A up to sequence number two. Fine, that is CC1. Fine, 0101 is coming. Fine, go that one. And then the B, what happens? I will now say up to three now. <laughs> so 00101 is in A class. 0102 is in B class and then 0103 is in C class. In A class, we have item 4 also, but that is not cycle count enabled. Remember, uh, I, 0104 is not cycle count enabled and so that will not be coming in cycle counting at all. So now we are now performing the ABC assignment. We have to submit. Upon submitting only, the assignment is now made now. I click on submit, maybe it's what the assignment gets made. So the assignment is made. So at this time, what happens? You, you, my student told me that once it gave a problem now, and you log out and log in, and then before you create the cyclic counting. So before you create the cyclic counting, you log out and log in, preferable. And sign out and sign out. It may work, but it is preferable. That's what I'm saying. So click on confirm now. Log out and log in. So I will not close all of the tab regions. No fine because you want to manage the So I will not close. No fine. You want so here, what happens? I will now go to the supply chain execution, and then go to the inventory management. Supply chain execution. I go to the inventory management. So supply chain execution and inventory management. I'm going over there and click on it. So here, what happens? You go there and click on it, and then here will now go to what? Drop down and then choose the counts. Counts. I'm choosing it and click on the create cycle count. We are now creating a cycle count actually. So count name is what? T 16 Fine. I will now say cyclic count. CC. And then here, oh God, I have to change the org. So I am not in the org. No, I click on the change the org. I do it. But click on the Let us now change the org actually. But click on it. You know, go to the bot. Click on create cycle count. And then change the org. First of all, change the org. Org is what? T016. And then click on OK now. And click on OK. Good. <clears throat> and go there. Click on it. You're not going to create. You're not create. So create cycle count. And click on create cycle count. So here I will now say it's a T016 fine, underscore CC. So go there. So here, what happens? You select it and then what happens? Include in the count. Whichever sub is you want to include it, you select it and then click on the include count. Then the tick mark will be coming on the include count. Normally, 
uh, you will be performing only sub inventories because it will be huge actually. Uh, so many items will be there. So depending upon the need, uh, management's decision, they will not even club multiple sub inventories into one cycle. Moment. So you go there, drop it down. I will not choose my assignment group. I go there and then click on the complete now. At this stage, we cannot save at all. Right? We have to complete all the three stages and then you can save now. Click on it. So click on next now. So it is not a, I go there. So click on next. I'm going to next now. So I will now automatically schedule. The frequency is going to be daily. The one now, approval required. If out of tolerance, and then I will now keep a tolerance of 10% now. 10%, 10% always. So the de defined schedules and approvals are done. I will now go to the next tab region. Any mistake? Nothing, no? So click on next. Define parameter. Fine. I will now say the start number is going to be what? 1001. Fine. Sequence numbers can be created. 1001. Maximum days late is two now. Fine. And then the maximum recount is one now. And then go there. Click on it. So normally serial numbers are coupled together actually in one count. Multiple per count actually. And then manual count entries are allowed. I am not doing it. Fine. If you want, you can do it actually. Count zero count is also. Display suggested quantity is fine. Everything is now done. Go there. So click on it. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then record count series. I'm not enabling the record count series. Serial discrepancies are normally allowed in count. And then adjust if possible. No, it is not acceptable in our company. Fine. Review all adjustments. Even if one serial is missing, it will now go to the inventory in charge for approval, actually. Here, I'm not giving a sub two now. Two. And then here also, what I was Negative. The positive or negative. Fine. There's no two. Total. So at this stage, I can very well save now. So I will now save and close on this stage. So at this stage, what happens? I am now giving a save and close. 1001 is the sequence number fine. So click on save and close by which what happens? Sir? The cyclic counting is now getting saved actually. No save. Now make a search again. I click on it. I will now go on that make a search again. I click on search. So we are now searching for it again. I click on search. So once when it is searched, what happens? You go there and then edit it again. I click on it. You go to edit it. Click on it. So we are editing it. So first three stages are complete. Fine, go that to one. So click on next. No, fine, click on next. Second stage is not done. Fine. So click on the train stop. The third stop is also completed. Now, fine. You will now go to the next. No, fine, click on next. So click on next. Now, define classes and items are coming. So if you see, the A class is now initialized with a no control item, actually. The B class is now initialized with what? A lot control item. The C class is initialized with what? Your serial control item. Now tell me, pump will come in which class actually? The 0104 pump will come in which class? Anybody? No, no class. No class. No class. No. Why? Why no class? Because it is not enabled. It is not enabled. Not cycle, counting. Counting. cycle counting is not enabled, and so it will not appear in any other class actually. And the honest. So got it now, fine. So it's not enabled for cycle counting. So I know that. So remember, now on every class also, let us say, if you're going to have an item which is going to be counted, let us say count per count per year is what? 365 I'm giving it. 365. So this is also what happens. I'm not giving. How many, how many, this is a mandatory field, remember. How many days, how many days you want to count now? 365 means what? It will now schedule these items every day actually. But the class C, I feel that it should be counted only once in a week. I have to put only 52. 52 times in a year means what? It is a Monday means what? Every Monday it will now plan to count. So different classes may be counted in different frequencies, basically. Got enough? Right? So that way it works actually. So 365 is over. So go there. So the system will be scheduling the item based upon the count per year on the particular class. And remember, manually bringing in, if A class has got 1,000 items, fine. If I don't initialize with the ABC class, you have to add it manually with the plus actually. And that is very tedious, impossible. If you have only smaller items, then no need to initiate with the class. No need to initialize the class. You can add it manually on every class. Class also you can add it. A plus, you can add a class and then plus and then add item manually. Got it? So that way it works actually. Even for a manual count, uh, class is also not required. Only items are only required actually. So decide in the field how you want it actually. Any doubts on this? No, fine. This is again a very big one. Somebody is saying that uh, we have on 10 items, 15 items. I don't need to have any class uh, initialization, actually. You can also do that, whichever way you want. Got it? Can somebody say yes to me? Right. And then even for a class wise, also we can override the what happens, the, the tolerance. The outside we are given a 10% tolerance. Now, class A will have 8% tolerance only. 
fine and then class b may be 6% fine we can override the outside tolerance for every class actually inside either quantity variance or value variance whichever you want you can give it actually fine class wise also you can override if you want again it's again a very big one fine so many more people will be doing in a very very depth manner actually so that only when you start to work you will understand it so already every class is now having all these items actually <laughs> all the items are there so what it works <clears throat> so click on next now fine. as and when you keep on doing it fine give a save now fine give a save so once you give a save it's no sign and go to the next now fine click on next next is basically what define class and items there is only a review actually it's only a review yeah. huh. somebody is asking sir is it not sir is it not mandatory yeah. to uh, add the item to it look to check it can you come back to the page please back Back. So I initiated yes, this classes with by ABC class assignments. So class A has now put the no control item. So class B has yes, put the Lord control item. I got it, sir. But uh, my my question is here in at the item level you can find the column called including schedule. Oh, I is it not my this is uh, this is again what happens? You search an item and then include in the schedule and then give a go actually. <laughs> Okay, so okay. For manual additions actually put an item and then include in the schedule and then give a go. That will get added over here. So, these are all for manual additions only. So, it's not mandatory, sir. It is not a manual addition, is optional actually. If you want, you can add it. See, an item is going to be counted only on Monday, but I want this item to be counted today means what? You put the item and then uh, include in the schedule and then give a go, that will all be getting added actually. So, depending upon the frequency of uh, your selections, what happens is this will be having an impact also. Again, this is again a very in depth one. Fine. Uh, when you have such a requirement, you make an R&D and then do it now. I never done it. The manual editions are all I never done it actually. Any other questions? Fine. Since I am giving 365, everything will be scheduled to today actually. Fine. If you give 52, then what happens? Weekly, all these things will be scheduled only weekly. I will not get the desired results. I am not testing it. You test it. Fine. With the different counts per year, you can test it. So click on next. Click on next. So finally, a review is coming. Fine. Go there. So everything is okay for us. Fine. All the things are okay. And then otherwise you have to go back back and then correct everything. Fine, click on seven close by which what happens there? My cyclic counting is ready. Got it now, fine, click on it. Hello, go then, give a search. Always make a search so that what happens the latest value will be coming. Now we have to perform activities one by one actually. You select it. Select it and then go to actions. In the actions, what happens there? Create cycle count is completed. If you want to edit, you can edit it. We can even purge all the closed cycle counts. Fine. You will not take a backup normally. People will be taking a backup and then they will be purging it. If you want, what happens? The manage manual count schedules also, you can make it now. Fine. This also you can make it manually. You can make a schedule. Something can be pushed into some schedules and all. I have never done it actually. Now, the first activity you are going to do is what? Generate count schedules. <laughs> so, now all the classes are now going to be counted for 365 days. So, when I generate it, today all the three items will be coming. If I have, uh, what happens? Uh, your uh, class B to be counted only 52 times in a year. It may come today or it may not come also. But since I have given 260 days, when I generate account schedules, all the three items will be scheduled for counting today. Got it? Fine. Click on the generate count schedule. I'm not generating it. So all the three items will be scheduled actually. Click on okay now. I will now give a right click on that. What about the duplicate? And then have a look at that. What's called my uh, scheduled process now. Go to the, go to the tools. <clears throat> go to the tools. And then go to the scheduled process and then have a look at it. Now, the generate schedules is now running. Count schedule is running. We will not have a look at the output now. Fine, click on it. I don't know whether the output will be coming properly or not. Fine, click on it. It's now succeeded. We will not have a look at the output now. Fine. So click on the attachment. Fine, click on the attachment and then have a look at it. Open it up. No see whether it is not showing you any meaningful value or not. Count schedule created only is coming. It doesn't show me what is included in the null fine. It's not showing anything at all. Count schedule is created actually. It's okay. Now, what happens? You go there, you go to this place, fine. You know, again, whenever you're doing any activity, you re refresh it now. Fine, click on it, make a search again. So click on search. Click on search. So you know that. Afterwards, what happens? You go to the actions. So we are now generated the count schedules. Now, what happens? We have to go generate the count sequences. So in our case, what happens? We'll be having four sequences now, right? 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. But I have written in some fashion, but it will be allocating this sequence number to different different items also. We'll not write that also. So the second activity, you again re-search for it 
and then go to the generate count sequences now. So click on actions, generate count sequences. I'm going to do it now. So that now there is no running. If I go back to what no, count sequences is running now. So count sequences is running now. If I click on it. So the sequence is now going to be created. <clears throat> But if you look at this ESS jobs output, it will not show you the sequence of numbers created actually. So we have to separately run a listing program actually. And then the listing program will be uh, what happens, uh, will be uh, will be done by the technical team actually. Every company will be having a different way of listing actually. So go there. So go to the generate count sequences and then have a look at the output of it. So click on the ESS job. <clears throat> no one now will not. So here, if you go on the maximize this one, well, count sequence numbers are created now. Fine, count sequences created, but four numbers of sequence are created. What are all the numbers? It is not showing you. And then what happens? The technical team will be having a format for printing it actually, or uh, generating it. Generating and then printing has got a format. So the technical team will now come into picture. Oracle has got a generic format. So I will now run the Oracle's format. So once when this is now completed, fine, if you go there, so if you have done this now, I click on it. So the generate count sequences is now done. Right? Count schedule is now done. The sequence is now done. Now we will now list it. We are going to list it now. If I click on scheduling process. We will now list it now. Fine. We are now going to print it actually. So there will be a print now. Fine. Print uh, percentage. The print percentage. And then uh, cyclic C Y C cyclic. I forgot on the name now. I click on print cyclic counting. Cyclic count. Yes. Print cycle count listing report. This report, every company has got its own format actually. Oracle has got a format, but everybody will not follow this Oracle's format. I click on it. So now the technical team will now assist you in doing it now. Is what is a T016 is the one fine give it up. Cycle count, fine. Drop it down. We have got only one cycle count. Fine. The remaining I'm now leaving it as well. Here, what about the show only recount sequences? No. Display serial numbers, I will not say yes. Some companies do not display the serial numbers to the counters because what happens, uh, there may be a, what happens, uh, you, you may, uh, some uh, cheating will happen actually. Display on and quantity, some people will not do it at all. Let's say there are some uh, uh, 100 mouses are there. And then if you are counting it, what happens, you will not find 105. So he, the counter will not see, oh, on and quantity is not shown in the system as under only. So he will not put five, five mouses in his pocket. And then you will now come and then report back as what? 100 is there, sir. So certain companies do not want to show the on and quantity to the counter at all. So they will now make it as known actually. Because some commonly used items which can be sold in the market, what happens that is susceptible for stealing actually. So they will know. So these parameters are basically monitored by the company. They will now say what, what, to, what not to do actually. That way it works. Thank you. Because in the previous uh, five were missing and then now they bought it. And then whatever now it's now reporting or not fine. Got enough fine. Can somebody say yes to me? Have you understood it? <clears throat> Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, Nana. Yes, okay. Thank you. So these parameters will be what happens and done. And then normally what happens will be again. So this report is basically configured by the technical team. Thank you, Nana. So the technical team will be configuring it and report. <clears throat> Every company will be having its own format. Our company has got a what happens a, a big scale will be there. Fine. By which whatever they have done it actually. It's been second counting listing report. So now in running now fine. So refresh it. And then once when this is completed, what happens? It will not show you this. So there are four listings were there as per the previous example of fine. So uh, these numbers is only for my example, you know, showing fine, but the or not one may not be for CC one, fine. It may be in a different fashion. So go ahead and So the system has got its own logic of doing it. So click on the report. Since it is a report, we can very well republish it actually. Print cycle counting listing report fine go that you want it. You can very well republish it. Output can be republished actually. So click on the republish now. Fine click on republish. We are now republishing it now. Fine click on it. So you can very well republish it. So click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. You are now exporting it to PDF. No, 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 click on it. Now this is how Oracle is now showing you. So 1001 is for lot 10. 1002 is for lot 20 actually. 1003 is no control item, and then 1004 is a serial control item. And then here you can see there will be three entries of 1001, 1002, 1003. So we keep a scale on this. Here, what happens in our company, there will be a good perforation, fine, a big mark. So we keep our scale, and then we will not take it as a parchi. 
So every parachi will be taken off, and there will be four parachis which will be taken, which will be what happens, they're teared off from the report. And then it will be given to the inventory boys to go inside and uncount it, actually. It will not give you all the information. <clears throat> so there will be four parachis are there. Fine. The fourth parachi, it will be having what? 1001, 1002. Fine. Serial number counted. Fine. Serial number suggested. Fine. What else? No saying. All these things there. Everything will be there. It will be handed over to the inventory boys. So the inventory boys will now walk into the inventory and then they will now perform the count and then they will now put the name also. Count quantity and then the comments counted by fine Nana and then his comments because the item is partially damaged or there is something has fallen on this where some comments will be there actually. Because during cyclic counting, you will also examine the item whether it is now okay or not. Fine. Is it physically damaged or not? Also will be checked by them. <clears throat> fine. If there is any physical damages also, they will not say count quantity is okay. Fine. Uh, uh, is there two quantities? Fine. System quantity, two quantity. But what happens? Uh, material uh, dust has fallen down or something has uh, happened to it. So they will be writing in the comments also. Got it now? Fine. So this will be given to the inventory boys. And then once when this is done, what happens? They will now come back. They will now come back and then hand over the count, uh, the slips to the person who is sitting before the inventory. We call them as a computer man. So that computer man will now receive it and then he will now make an entry in the system actually. He will now read the slips and then he will now make an entry into the system. <clears throat> Is it clear? Can somebody say yes to me? But Nana, no, no, what happens if there are a huge number of items? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be, there will be. See, uh, in our company, if you see the sequence numbers, there will be running into or happens around more than 100 actually. And then if I have only five inventory boys, I will now distribute 20, 20 to every inventory boy actually. 20, 20 slips. That is why counting, uh, counting will be a very big process basically. So every company will not do the counting every day. So some companies will not count only on a weekdays, we only on a Friday or Thursday. And then at the time, what happens is they will not call all the inventory boys of other sub inventories. Wherever, wherever the inventory org are there, everybody will be called over here. <clears throat> Fine. So that way it will not do. <clears throat> Once what happens, I told the inventory man, hey, sir, you are not having sufficient boys. So shall I come and then do the counting? He told me, you are not fit for counting at all. <laughs> I asked him, how come I am an engineer here? How come you're saying that I'm not fit? He says that what happens, you don't know how to, what happens, they lift an item. An item should be lifted, some of them by a tail or some of them by head. And then handling, material handling is also a knack actually for some of the items. So engineers are not fit for it actually. Those who are in the inventory only are fit for what happens, they're doing all these activities actually. They know how to handle it. Material handling will be efficient, effective, effectively done or efficiently done only by the inventory boys and not by the managers basically. So he told us, sir, I'm not going to die. I'm not going So that way, I was laughing at him. <laughs> then no, I understood, okay, okay, that is the reason that he's not asking me to come and count actually. So counting is basically not only physical counting, but he will not examine the, uh, what happens, the stock also, whether it is not physically damaged or not, and then he will not report it to the management actually. Now, what are you going to do? Having done this, he has now entered everything and then handed over the boy. Now this guy, what he will do is he will not perform this. No, click on the, so uh, on every activity, always make a search. No, click on search. He is now going to enter the counts. No. Go there. So go to actions. And then here, what I'm saying, you will not record the count sequences actually. So click on the record sequences. So click on record sequences. He is going to record it actually. So click on the record sequences. So he will be recording the count sequences actually. 1000 and 1002 are for lot control item. So the first one, if you expand it, it will now show you what is the lot number here. No, click on expand it. So go there. So here it is not saying what lot 10 actually. The system quantity is not shown as a two also. Fine. So sometimes they don't show the system quantity to the counter because they, these guys will be even, if something is in excess, they will even run away with the excess quantity actually. So now two is now counted as three now. Three. Now tell me, is it out of tolerance or within tolerance? Anybody? It is out of tolerance. 10% is the tolerance. Now system quantity is two. We are entering as three. Now, is it out of tolerance or within tolerance? Hello? Nobody is answering me. <laughs> out of tolerance. It is out, it of, tolerance. Is out of tolerance. It is out of tolerance. Okay. When more than 50% out of tolerance, actually. So, if it is out of tolerance, will it go to the inventory in charge for approval or it will not go for recount, actually? It will not go for a recount. Go for recount, sir. It will not go for uh, approval at all. It will not go for a recount because the maximum recount which you have suggested is one. So whenever the count is now exceeding the tolerance, it will now be asking you to count again. Got it? Everybody has got it out. Please ask me. So two is now counted as three. And then here, what happens? This is one. This one. What happens? Go there. So 
So we are having two quantities in this point. Expand it. One no, one thousand two. We are expanding it. Expand it. Now that this is lot twenty. It is having three. So here he is entering as four now. Fine. Now tell me, will it go for approval or recount? Oh God, why everybody is now so much of a <laughs> three is counted as four. Is it within ten percent tolerance or beyond ten percent tolerance? Beyond, beyond, beyond. It is beyond. So it will also go for it will also go for recount. recount actually. Now one thousand three is uh, no control now. So here fifty one quantities are there. He is now going to enter the quantity as forty seven. Now tell me, is it within uh, tolerance or beyond tolerance actually? Within. Is within the tolerance. Got it now, fine. If it is within the tolerance, it will not even go to the inventory in charge. It will get automatically adjusted. Got it now, fine. If anything is within no. the tolerance, it will get adjusted automatically. The stock will be getting adjusted automatically. Hello? <clears throat> oh, Nobody is answering me. <laughs> I know that's a very tough topic. <laughs> Only with three items, whatever you'll be having hundreds of items, you know, see, but how difficult it is now, fine. It is not an easy task, actually. So now anything which is within the tolerance will be getting adjusted. The stock will be getting adjusted automatically. I go to 1004 now. 1004 expanding. So 1004 is basically a serial 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 control number. So I will not say out of three items, what happens? We are able to find only two serial numbers now. Find two and then give it up. So once we give it, what happens? Remaining two is coming. That means what? Which are all remaining there? We had mentioned it now. I click on the remaining two. I will not click on the remaining two. I click on the remaining two. Now click on the remaining two. Fine, two are remaining. Fine, two. What is what is available? We have to say now. Fine. So one thousand one, I have recorded the count. Fine, click on it. One, I have recorded. So once when you record it, whatever you can now see, fifty percent is now complete. Three is also available. One thousand three is also available. I will also put a tick mark here. So now hundred percent data is now complete. Only one thousand two is missing actually. Please, please, Avijit, when can you mute your mic? If you are not speaking to me, please mute your mic. <clears throat> Anybody who want to speak, speak to me, sir. So now in the serial count only, we have to say which is missing, which is present, which is not present. Record of the system is all, but in the count, what happens? One, 1001 and 1003 are only available. 1002 is not available. Fine, give us save and close now. <clears throat> now, out of four sequences, how many sequences will get automatically adjusted? How many sequences will go for recount? How many sequences will go for approval? <clears throat> Tell me. Make a guess now. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> okay, the easiest answer I will tell you. One thousand three, three for recount, one for uh, automatic adjustment. Yes, no correct. very correct. Vikram is very correct. Three will now go for recount actually. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand four will go for recount. One thousand three will now get adjusted automatically <clears throat> because that is well within the range. So, because these 1001, 1002, and 1004 are beyond the 10%, and so they have to be recounted actually. Okay, fine. So, click on it. So, click on submit. So, I'm going to submit it. So, one of them will be getting adjusted in the system automatically. Fine, click on submit. Upon submitting it, one of them you cannot see. <coughs> click on submit. They are submitting it. Two is counted as three, three is counted as four, and three count sequences were marked for recount. One has got automatically adjusted. They are not showing you. Fine. No. So go there. three count sequences were marked for recount. Can somebody say yes to me that you understood now? 1001, 1002, and 1004 have been marked for recount actually. Hello? Yes. <laughs> it's so yes, difficult, sir. no? <laughs> I know that. Is the, you see, we are working only three items. And you'll be having plenty of items, and then you have to understand about. You cannot, what happens, justify your uh, the results basically. Whatever is coming, you have to accept it directly. Justification of the results is very, very difficult when you have thousands of items actually. Now, what happens? We go there. We'll now have a look at the stock. If I click on at home. I will now go to what? I will now have a look at the stock. <clears throat> supply chain execution. <clears throat> I will now go to the supply chain execution. I will now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution, I'm going over there. Right? You go to the inventory management and then have a look at the stock. Click on it. You know, go to what? Go to inventory and then have a look at the stock. I click on the manager and go and then have a look at the stock. So click on search now. Fine, click on search. Go there. So here, pump is only 100. Fine, go there. So the serial control item is three. And then what happens? The no control item has got adjusted. The lot control item is what? Two plus three. That is not adjusted. The serial control item is also not adjusted. 
because they have all gone for recount actually. So the no control has got adjusted because it is well within the stock, within the what happens within the limits actually. Can somebody say yes to me? Yes, sir. Good, fine. Any other doubt? Anybody has got doubts? You ask me. Otherwise, I will assume that you have understood everything. Now, we will now again do the recount. And three of the counts, 1001, 1002, and then 1004 have been sent for recount now. We will now again make a search now. Thank you for the search. So click on search. Thank you for search. And then here, go there. So click on it. And then now we are again printing the listing. And then we will now give it to the inventory boys. They will now go again, go inside, and then again count, and then come back, and then hand over the purchase, the slips. Now, the computer man is going to enter in now. The computer man is going to enter now. So go there. So he is entering in now. Fine, click on it. So go to actions and then go to what? Record count sequences. Normally, whenever you count, you won't make a mistake. Now, inventory boys, whenever they are counting it, they will not make a mistake. They will not make a mistake. So 1001, fine, expand it. So this is for lot 10 now. The lot 10. Fine, lot 10. So previously, what happens? Uh, the system count is 2. The count count is also 2. Now, what happens? He is now going to say again 3 only. He is saying again 3. So here, what happens? Again, he is saying 4. Because normally there won't be any difference because you won't make mistakes. <coughs> it is for the system to ensure that it is really happening. In the 1004, what happens again? Two is only there. You know, put a two in the right hand side. You can see remaining two. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the remaining two. And then you can again say 1001 is there, 1003 is there, 1002 is missing. Fine. Oh, 50% is complete. Go that to so 1003 is there, 1002 is missing. Now you tell me. <coughs> If I click on submit, right, will it go for a recount or it will go for approval or it will get adjusted? There are three approval. options. Huh? Approval. Why it is going for approval? Tell me. Why it is not getting adjusted? Why it is not Difference getting adjusted? Huh? Difference is there. Yeah, no, enabled for approval required. No, no, no. When it will go for approval? When it is out, out of... Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Very correct. When it is out of tolerance only, it will go for approval. And that too, after the recounts only. So all of them have been count, recounted once and then they are out of tolerance. If it is out of tolerance, then it will go for approval actually. If it is well within the tolerance, it will not go for approval. It will get adjusted automatically. So if it is out of tolerance and then the maximum recount is also exhausted, then it will be submitted to inventory in charge for his approval actually. Clear? Any doubts? Now, we have a maximum recount. In our company, we have only recount of only one. Because we believe on our inventory boys. They won't make any mistake at all in the counting. So just to ensure from the system's point of view, we have asked them to recount. They have recounted it. And then the same results has got obtained. And so what happens? It will be submitted to inventory in charge, whether to approve it or not. Anybody? It's a very tough topic, actually. <laughs> With the three items. You'll have plenty of items. And then what happens? You'll be having... Uh, Big laborious work actually it is. It is not an easy job at all. Can somebody say yes to me that you understood? Now it will not go for approval when I submit it. Oh God, nobody is answering me. Please answer. <laughs> I want somebody to say yes or no. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, man. Good, good, good. So click on submit now. Now what happens? It will now go for inventory in charge for approval. Fine, click on submit. It is not submitted. Fine, that. So three count sequences were submitted for approval and not adjusted actually. Now, the inventory in charge will not take a decision. So, whether these counts will not, because sometimes they will be very costly items. So, he himself will now come into the field and then whatever you will now make a, his own checking <coughs> or you will now ask everything. <coughs> so, so many cost checks will be happening if items are costly. <coughs> because any item which is missing, management will not take a serious view on it. Fine. The whole impact will now come to the inventory in charge because he is not keeping a proper watch on this thing. Right? Somebody would have lifted it. St stealing is the biggest problem in the industry. Click on it. And then go there. Now, what happens? You go to the actions. Now, he's going to approve the work. This, this particular entry will be available only for the inventory in charge. So, the inventory in charge will be having an inventory manager role. Whereas, the person who is sitting on the entry, uh, the computer man who is making the data entry, he will not have this at all. So, you have to customize a role and then remove this approve count for him. So he will have a custom inventory role, which will not have approve count at all. The person who is sitting on the in computer and making all these things now, and generating, generating, and then recording, 
he will not have the approve count at all. So you had to create one custom role where approve count is not available for the man who is entering it. So that inventory in charge role only will be given to him actually. <clears throat> Got it? So whereas the inventory in, the in charge will be having an inventory manager role itself, right? That is having all the all the functionalities actually. So click on approve count sequences. So click on approve count sequences. One of the student has done the removal also, fine. Right? <laughs> Dollar thing. So now he will now change it now. Fine, click on it. So 1001 is pending approval. So two is now counted as three. Now. So he may even send it for recount also. If you remember. Or he may even reject the person who has counted. He says that it's only two here. This guy is not knowing counting. And so I don't accept this. He may even reject the count. And then once when he reject it, the system count of two will be retained. Nothing will be happening. He may even send it for recount also. But if he approves it, two will now become three now. <clears throat> 1001 has got a lot 10. So lot 10. Fine. This is lot 10. Lot 10 will now become what? The uh, the quantity is now 1 now. Fine. If negative means it will be becoming negative. Actually. Fine. Remember, all negative quantities will be having a great effect actually. Fine. In the inventory, if it is a plus, he will not have much of a questions now. All negative. Fine. The, the 1004 has got a negative. So this one, he has to automatically give a justification to the management about why they are missing or why they are damaged. Fine. It, because of damage also, what happens, they will not say it's not available in the counter. Actually. <clears throat> Manager, all this thing is responsible for. So he will now, what happens, the design about what happens, whatever is wrong. So, you know that. so select the first count and then he will now click on approve. Pending approval, no good approve. Approved but not submitted actually. It is approved. Right? Select the next one. Hmm. And then he will now go on and click on approve. It will be approved, not submitted. Third one also, what happens, he will do it. He can even reject, recount, fine. It will be a big laborious process. It is not an easy one at all. So the inventory judge has done everything. You know that. So finally, he will now submit. Approved but not submitted. So once when you submit it, now the adjustments will be processed basically. Now only the adjustments will be processed for whatever has come for approval. Actually. If something is within the tolerance, that gets adjusted automatically. Fine, click on submit now. Fine. So it is now submitted. Fine, go there. So the approval process completed and the adjustments were processed. The adjustments were three count sequences were approved actually. So click on OK. Now we'll now go there and then have a look at the stock. Fine, click on it. If you go on and make a search, you can click on search. You go on and search. So click on search. You will now find all the stocks are registered. So here, 103, serial control item. Fine with that. So 3 is now correct. That's 2 actually because 1 is missing. Actually. This is already adjusted. 41 is already adjusted. Here, what happens is now then fine, if you expand it. Fine. Lot 10 and lot 20 reported 1 1 quantity excess actually. Fine, click on it. So expand the subinotary. So lot 10 previously it was having 2. Now it is now having 3. And then lot 20 previously it was having 3. Now it is having 4 actually. This completes the cyclic counting process. <laughs> it's a very uh, long question, sir. Uh, tell, yeah, tell me. Ask questions. Uh, uh, item available, but quantity not available. How it will rear? Item available means what? That, item available in the system. Uh, if quantity is not available, means physical quantity is missing. Somebody has stolen it. And when you count it. zero quantity. Sir, item with zero quantity, we enabled it, right, sir? Enabled for counting, actually. But we go on and search it and then it is still zero only. Okay. If an item is now reporting zero quantities, we have enabled a zero quantity counting also. So you go here and there and then search. Are sir, now also it's zero. You come and come back and then report as zero only. Sir, for adjustment, do we need do we need to provide any adjustment accounts, sir? Adjustment accounts are done by Tijil. Tijil will not teach you about how to do the accounting now. I have not taught about accounting. Accounting, I don't know. Tijil, are you there? Okay. Tijil, are you there? I think Tijil will be teaching you all the accounting. I mean, cyclic counting adjustments, physical inventory adjustments, everything you want. Whereas in, yeah, but during, yeah, in EBIS, we you now provide the accounting and the screen itself. And here it is not so. Yes, correct. Right. That is the reason I'm asking, sir. Yeah, yeah. In EBIS, we have the account. Here, accounting is all separate, actually. So contact Tijil and then learn complete accounting of supply chain, actually. Any other doubts by anybody else? No? Uh, sir, uh, yeah, one question. Uh, if some quantity is left in staging. Staging? Uh, will that be counting uh, the staging? Will that, that, be, that, are you counting will the that be also yeah. included in the cover cycle? Yeah, count? we can very well include the staging counting, counting also in the list. Staging separately also can be included in the count, actually. Whichever you want to include the count, in the initially you will not include it. Okay. Do you know? This you have to teach the incline now. Fine. As a consultant, you have to teach the person who are going to use it now. Fine. So that they will not make any mistakes. Teaching is a very difficult process because uh, they are all unpadatmi. Fine. 
they know how to count and all fine but putting everything on the system and all fine is very difficult to whatever they teach them actually because you are not going to do it is all done by the inventory boys and then inventory in charges the computer operators basically so the next activity is physical counting on the same one now fine we will now perform this physical counting tomorrow so can you say uh, if it is understandable can you put a green tick mark on the reaction stream you will now see how many of you are putting a green tick mark now. If you can put a green tick mark, that will be great, actually. Fine. Others can refer you. Fine. Ramakrishna Chana has understood it. Excellent. <laughs> Fine. Good, good, good. And Surya has understood it. Fine. Uh, Danush Karupaya has understood it. Sibi Sindhil has understood it. Please note down their names now. Fine. Because uh, do you know what is the problem which will come now? Fine. You will have a material status also. There will be a material status which will be allowing and disallowing this thing. Fine. There you will have a lot of problems. Maybe. When the count, what happens? It will not appear or something like that. I have to, my, my student says, sir, we have material status also. So many material status are enabled. And then count is giving random results, fine. So that that way, what happens? You have to sit and then accordingly watch and then. So it may, it may be sometimes very, very difficult in the field, actually, doing the cyclic counting. So material status uh, control like a uh, subunit level, correct, sir? No, at the item level, fine. There are four controls are there, fine. Serial number, lot control, lot level, and then subunit level and locator level. So material status control can be done for four different levels, actually. If that is also clubbed, and then you are performing a cycle count, fine. There is some problem. Then what, my son? I don't know what is the exact problem. Uh, he told me that sir, with the middle status we are having it, and then uh, we 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 face issues. That is what he was saying. But we managed it. That is what he told me. <clears throat> the field it may not be so simple actually. But I only taken some three simple items and then did it now fine. But in reality, it will be very huge. And then whenever a discrepancy arises. You only have to go up as a dig, dig, and then deep, and then see where exactly it has gone wrong. So good and fine. There are more, more than four, five, five persons are really very good. Fine. Please note down their uh, names. So they will be of a great use to you when you go to the field. Actually, you can even discuss with them, and then uh, uh, they will help you out. Because I am an old man, I may not be good for diagnosis. Basically, I may be a good teacher. But at diagnosis level, whatever, I may not be a good person. <laughs> so discuss with them and then there are some beautiful persons who will be helping you out in the field actually. So bye for now. And then we will now meet at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And then we will now begin psych physical inventory. Thanks, sir. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Nana. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Nana. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye, bye.